mega empties haul. How are these two bags? First of all, why do I have them in these liquor store looking bags? <laughs> Trust me, it's from Wegmans, y'all. Please believe me. If you've never seen my face before, I'm Kia. Welcome to my channel, to my returning subscribers. Hey, boo. We are getting into my empties. I'm yelling again. I'm so sorry, y'all. I love empty videos because this is where you can see what I really use. Like, so I share my natural hair journey to inspire others. My main platform is on Instagram, so definitely check me out over there. But you may see me using a lot of products and wondering how somebody who has their hair this long and a twist out that looks this good not to pat myself on the back but what does she use what does she use to really grow her hair y'all please let me know so in this video i am going to let you know i am going to go ahead and sort this into skin care and hair care and we'll take it from there ah! here's an official hello Hi, without the rustling of the bags. Let's always begin with hand washing. So I do like Myers for hand washing. Myers, please wash your hands. Wash your hands before you do your skincare. It's important. All the products mentioned in this video are towards the cleaner side. That is something that I am passionate about and I also hope that you seek cleaner products because they have some hazardous things out here on the market and we want to stay away from those things. The next product is my daily SPF and it is from Glossier and it is their Invisible Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 35 and I love how this product applies under my makeup and also as the last step in my skincare routine. The next thing is my eye cream. I also have two of these and this is from Good Molecules. This is their Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel which just gives me that little caffeine boost. Next thing. So as far as my serums, I have the Good Molecules Discoloration Serum and I am on like my third bottle of this one. I have tried tons of different serums and over time I do see that this does lighten certain areas. I did purchase and try the Topicals um, Faded and that's another serum that works well with me especially on melanated skin and I did not empty it it um, expired so that's why I didn't include it the next empty that I have is from Osea so this is their algae body oil and I really love this the only thing is I didn't know if I identify with this brand as much so I don't know if I want to continue to pay the amount that this costs. We are loving good molecules over here. So this is their niacinamide brightening toner and I am on my fourth bottle of this. Like come on now. Clearly a fave. Now if you want to step up your skincare Again, I received this PR and I literally scraped this. Look at this. I scraped it. This is from Necessaire and I really like their products a lot. Like I have been using their body gel and that's almost finished, but this is their body cream. I can't remember which one I put on first, but it was either this body oil and then this body cream or maybe the body cream and then the body oil, but these two together, this was my combo. And then they ran out and I was like, mm, do I wanna buy these? My next skincare product is from the Clean Skin Club. I have three boxes. I'm pretty sure I had more, but I use these every day and my little hat for these because they come in like, this big square I use my scissors and I cut them 
and it makes them go further. Just make sure your scissors are clean before you do that. I highly recommend this. And most of these things are in my Amazon store, so please look down below to see all of them. So my next skincare item is body wash, and I have been using Native for the longest. And I don't know if I'm gonna continue to use them. I'm on the fence. But let me just read the scents that I empty. I have like four natives and I have tons of native body washes in my shower. They're easy to pick up, they're in Target. And then they always have like this new scent that I wanna try. So I emptied out the gummy bears. Why did I need to smell like gummy bears? I don't know, but it, yeah smells like gummy bears i just like smelling nice and smelling sweet and you know around the house just smelling like a little treat so that's why i tend to go for the sweet smells but the next one is the sour berry belts y'all please look at what these look like The one thing about Native that I really like is that they're very transparent with their ingredients and I just love that. You know, that's something I care about. And then the last two, um, I have the Strawberry and Vanilla Taffy. Oh, okay. They want me to show y'all that. And then the last one, I have the Sweet Peach and Nectar. Stop playing with me. Here goes the other one. If you want to give Native a try, definitely give them a try. I am still using Native. I'm still using the Gummy Bears one right now, but I have experienced the body wash from Necessaire, and I really like that one a lot. And I will finish up this section with sharing my hand sanitizer, and that is from Touchland. So these are all of my skincare products. Now let's get into hair care. Now let's get into my empties for hair care. I need to get through this because I have on a sweater and if you know, you know you're not supposed to be having your hair rubbing up on the sweater. But I digress, I can have it for a little bit while we get through these empty so i just heard the term twisted natural that's me i will fall in that category <laughs> but i do do some wash and goes on rare occasions so when i do do my wash and go i like to use a leave-in and then i use the product i'm about to show you and then i use like a hard hold gel because remember, I have thick hair. If you know me, you already know that I rave about Kinky Curly Curling Custard. So this is my empty, and I believe I went through two of these, yeah, this year. So this has been holding me down. This is a botanical gel. And let's see, it says instantly transform thick, dry, frizzy hair into silky spirals and wonderful waves. This does help to lock the moisture in for my hair. Some people either love it or hate it, but there is a little learning curve with this. And the way that I learned to do my washing goes, I learned that this is like really good as a base gel which I agree. And then if you're into mousses and other kind of topper gels, this will really do it to get your hair like on the right track before you put that next layer of product on top of it. So I will continue to use Kinky Curly, especially if I need to do a wash and go. But moving forward, I will be mainly doing two strand twists. The next product is from one of my favorite brands, which I really think that they go above and beyond with making sure that people with tight textures are included, and that is Pattern Beauty. I love Pattern Beauty so much. Like, as a brand, their products, they literally check all the boxes for me as someone that has tight textured hair. And one of my favorite products from them 
my favorite, which I will continue to keep on my top shelf, is their Detangling Nectar. This product is one of my favorite products to pre-poo with. I will forever love this product. The slip on this product, you don't need water with it. <laughs> I did see some people use this as a product after washing their hair. So if you have more of a looser texture, I will look into that as well. But I'll have to use this some different ways. I did do a review on this product a while ago. But um, if I just need a seamless pre-poo, especially after a wash and go, this is it. This is, this is award winning. Sticking with the pattern theme, their curl mousse, this thing is empty. I also reviewed this product as well. Again, I am a stand for pattern. And this curl mousse pairs very well with the kinky curly for me. So this was a nice wash and go combo. And I enjoyed using this for twists as well. So. Just try this. Uh, try Pattern Beauty if you haven't already. I always hear like mixed reviews from some people, which is very interesting. Um, I've tried the majority of all of their products. I think I've tried all of their products and I just in love. Like Pattern always hits for me. I emptied this mousse twice. And I'm pretty sure I emptied this three times. So. Now, I am a big supporter of deep conditioners. I do think deep conditioners put extra moisture in your hair. And they can also help repair hair that needs it. And I don't talk about this deep conditioner that much on um, my other platforms. But I have repurchased it. And I do like it. And this is from Raw Sugar. They're Mighty Curls. This is papaya butter, coconut, and he hemp seed oil. It's also free of all the bad things, free of silicones, free of parabens. It's color safe and it's vegan. Now, this has a very unique texture where you have to mix it in your hand before applying it to your hair. But there's also um, an avocado version of this, which I have been using. And this is somewhat affordable and I know that Sally's normally has like a buy two for something you get a good amount and it works in my opinion so yes definitely check out raw sugar and yeah I'll have to see if I can partner with them because this is also something that I use on a regular and this is um I have two bottles of this now so I emptied this but I have to be honest, it's not a favorite, but it is a favorite of a lot of my curl friends. And that is the What The Hemp Deep Moisture Mask from Oyen. Now, from what I've heard, because you know, I like to do a little bit of research, okay, on the, on the people and see what the people like as well. But a lot of the people that have um, more of a fine texture and they have, um, I don't want to say like high porosity because I don't know if I really believe in porosities, but that's a whole nother conversation. Uh, they tend to like this. Now, with this mask, the application is not my favorite. However, every time I use this mask and I washed it out, I was like, okay magic complete magic so i think it's worth mentioning and i think it's worth you trying oh yin is a uh, independent indie natural hair clean brand and i like them i like them i like them so much that i partnered with them and i'm an ambassador of theirs so while this product is you know just okay in my opinion I really love their styling products, especially for thicker textures. So I have emptied the Shine and Define Gentle Styling Serum and also their Whip 
putting rich shea and aloe cream so these are my two babies right here this one is more so um, on the stronger fragrance side and this is more so for people who like hair butters but if you like like a cream kind of feel then you can go for this but this is definitely a butter even though it has water in the first ingredient am I right yes I'm right so definitely check these out I will continue to use these and my code is just Kia for Oyen so check them out Oyen Handmade the next two products are from um, a brand named Obia Naturals and I discovered them this year and I emptied their products so I liked it. This is their Curl Enhancing Custard and this is their Twist Whip Butter even though the Twist Whip Butter was more so on the cream side. I recommend both of these. They are both made with clean ingredients. The Curl Enhancing Custard for a vegan product, I think did a great job with getting that curl. And as far as, and if you're doing like twists and braid outs and things of that nature, then the Twisting Whip Butter is like a good thing to try out. Next is my favorite deep conditioner. And it has been for a really long time. And if you know me, you already know that I have like a very special relationship with Briogeo products. I really love their products. They are on the cleaner side as with everything else. But I have been talking about this deep conditioner for a while. So whenever I want a luxurious wash day, I reach for my Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioner. And here it goes. I went through two or three of these this year. This is more so on the pricier side, but they always have sales. So if you want to try out one of my favorite deep conditioners, put this on your list. I like it. I like the protein moisture balance that these ingredients give. Rose hip, sweet almond, argan oils with vitamin B5 and biotin. And my hair loves this. It loves it so much. And I am actually almost out, but it's not really an empty yet. And this is their charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo this is another favorite of mine so briogeo is that girl i love briogeo and i will continue purchasing and buying these products now we have four more products so i hope you're staying in there with me i hope you've been enjoying this video if you have please give me a big thumbs up and now i am going to go ahead and talk about something that i don't like to publicly talk about all the time but i still use nature's blessing and i have been using it for over eight years <laughs> at this point and um you can just pick this up at your beauty supply store i believe they have it on amazon but amazon is a hit or miss with hair products but um, definitely, if you get Nature's Blessing, make sure it's green. Sometimes it'll look like a little clear, but get the green um, kind. And I apply this to my scalp. So I do grease my scalp and, you know, I'm just going to stand in that. And I like it. And I also grease my wife's scalp and she enjoys it as well. So Nature's Blessing, if you're into hair greases, that's my hair grease of choice my next product is a favorite as well and that is ag boost from ag care now they do send out these big pouches of refillable products so i've just been continuing to put the product inside the new and updated products these products are on my top shelf so their balance and boost they are um my all-purpose shampoo that i like to use and i have had the pleasure of working with them and i feel so honored because this year i worked with 
brands that I already use. Like these are the products that I love and that I use. And those were the brand partnerships that I had in 2023. 2023 was very, very, very good um, to me. And I'm going to have to make another video of my 2023 hair influencer journey. So, but AG Care, Balance and Boost. I feel like if you know anything about the no oils, no butters movement that, yeah, let me, let me just end right there. But if you know anything about that, those were the initial products that, in my opinion, were pushed to a lot of us that tried that method. And um, I think that they're good products. And they're on the cleaner side. They're a Canadian brand. They are very um, sustainable brand as well. They care about those things. And I will continue to support them. And I also have a code if you are interested. And I use them every month. The secret is out. Actually, it's no secret. There's no secrets here when it comes to my hair care. I love AG Care. Period. Oh, and one more thing about the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. This is how much that I like them. Like, I had a trial size and I cut that thing open. I mean, and scraped it. So, if anybody wants to ever buy me products... Please buy me um, Briogeo Don't Despair Repair because I love it so much. The next product is Super Curl from Uncle Funky's Daughter. I have been using Super Curl and some of their other products for years at this point. And I like them. I feel like Uncle Funky's Daughter is slept on. I really do. And Super Curl has a looser texture than something like Extra Butter, which is also from their line. But the moisture in Super Curl is it. It has this smell. It's kind of like lemon-ish, kind of candy-ish smell. I can never put my finger on this smell, but Super Curl is that girl. It has almond oil, shea butter, and vitamin A. It also says that it's for kinky and curly textures. And every time I do a twist out with Super Curl, my hair just looks so freaking good. See, now I'm like, dang, what do I want to use for my next wash day? Because now I have options. And I have another Super Curl sitting over here on my shelf. And now I'm like, ooh... Maybe I'll use that. Stay tuned and see what I use. But anyway, I will say it's interesting because when I talk to people about Uncle Funky's daughter, they tell me that the reason that they never really picked this up or gravitated to it was because the packaging is brown. And I think that is so interesting because after working with this brand, like they have a lot of thought into their branding just as a whole. And I never would have thought like some people were like, oh, it just never really caught my eye. Well, let me tell you, you're sleeping on Uncle Funky's Daughter. A lot of people love the curly magic from that for like wash and goes. But again, today I literally heard the word twisted natural and I'm going to lean into that moving forward. But Super Curl has a really nice texture and the smell, I don't want to say it's like a hit or miss smell, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Two more products. Uh, last but not least, they are from Bread. And have been talking about Bread before they came on the market. They are Black women founded and owned. And they also have really aesthetically pleasing products and I love that like I love the way that they look on my product shelf not me finding two more skincare things but I will add that at the end as a bonus but back to bread so this is bread's hair cream and again I have emptied maybe three of these 
two of these. I've emptied two of these because I know that it's not just one. Now you can see this thing is emptied, okay? And I also purchased another one that I'm making my way through that is also emptied. But I love the smell of these brands. I am very sensitive to smells. And if I don't like the way it smells or if my wife doesn't like the way it smells, I just don't use it. So me trying to find clean, affordable-ish, good smelling products that work. That's the hunt that I've been on in the past two years. But um, I absolutely love this hair cream on stretched hair. You can use it on damp hair, but I didn't like the way my results looked. But on stretched hair, you're looking at the results. These are the results of this hair cream on stretched hair. So I love the way it looks. I love the way it smells and it pairs nicely with another empty of mine, which is their hair oil. Now I have um, gone back to using hair oils more frequently in my hair routine. So that's why I have the big boy now. But initially I purchased the big boy and it was expired before I could empty it. But I'm going to go through this the way that I've been using this hair oil already. Um, I purchased this for Black Friday and you can kind of see where I am. So I've been hair oiling it up since I decided to make the decision to go back to using a lot of hair oil. So there are two last bonus items that I just found on my shelf. And that is the Alafia Shea and Coconut. First of all, their packaging, they're a very sustainable brand as well, but um, their packaging is just, it gets ruined easily. So um, I really enjoy this and I was sent this in PR and I have continued to purchase and use it, which y'all know I feel a certain way about that. I love the way that this feels. It also has fair trade ingredients, which is something that's very important to me. And then my last product of this long empties video is the Fenty Skin Butter Drop. So this is the Vanilla Dream Whipped Oil Buttercream. So I emptied this one and now I have their white one. So that is my 2023 empties video for skincare and hair care. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these things or if it's something that you didn't like that I shared or just, you know, say hey, anything. I really appreciate you watching this video and until the next time, bye.